What's up, Finn fans? Coming in today, giving you a quick uh, update on the Miami Dolphins, on uh, what stuff happened today, and then what's happening uh, in general. Um, just guys, let you know, Jordan Mills just signed a one-year, $3 million contract with the Miami Dolphins. If you guys don't know who Jordan Mills is, he's an offensive tackle, mostly right tackle. Um played for the Bills for a while. I don't know if he played there for his whole career, but he was on the Bills last. But we did get him on a one-year, uh, $3 million contract. It's a very cheap deal, and he is expected to start at right tackle, uh, which is very helpful for the Dolphins for the fact that, which I will go in a little later, we have four rookies on our offensive line. So bringing that veteran um, experience and just having a uh, just experienced guy in general to help out that line, that is going to probably struggle throughout the whole season unless all these rookies somehow just you know take off and all be elite which probably is not going to happen but one one or two of them will probably pan out hopefully that's what we're uh shooting for i guess uh, for the uh what they're shooting for for the organization but we do have jordan mills and if you know if he plays well we'll probably uh re-sign him he's only 28 years old so he's still got a couple years left on him in the prime um, so, yes, Jordan Mills, right tackle, he's going to at least compete. He will probably take the starting, um, but don't be surprised if these rookies, which I'll go in later, uh, take over that. Um, offensive line, uh, reading what NFL says, uh, what they project, uh, Larry Tunsil's going to start at left tackle, um, Daniel Kilgore at center, Jesse Davis is probably going to be at right guard. Jordan Mills is going to be at right tackle. But the left guard position is probably going to be the biggest wild card. The most experienced guy right now is Isaac Atista. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Never really not good at pronouncing names sometimes. But he's probably to be the projected just for the fact that he has more experience. But we do have four rookies. And uh, Michael Dieter, Michael Dunn, Connor Hillard. And uh, J Jard Jones Smith, I think that's how you pronounce it. Although um, Dunn and Dieter are guards, that's what they were in uh, college. So there is a possibility of them starting there. It's going to be a battle with the preseason, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Dolphins probably find another offensive lineman out in the free agency. I don't know who would they go after, but they will build um competition. They currently have. 11 on the roster, 11 um, offensive linemen, which usually goes down 9, 9 to 10. You usually have a backup per position. So um, the somebody's probably going to get cut at least. So this is going to be a big uh, big preseason for them. It's, a rookie's going to start. There's four of them. There's four rookies, and then there's, what, six or seven you know veterans, which – one probably might get hurt or the rookie's going to outplay him. So watch for a lot of rookie play this year for the offensive lineman. I think Brian Flores is truly rebuilding the offensive line. That's why he has four rookies, um, although three of them were undrafted rookies, I believe. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, more uh, news for the Dolphins. Um, Dolph, uh, Brian Flores is saying that uh, Balaj, they want Balaj to step up, saying that Kenyon Drake's going to have to prove he's going to be the starting running back for the team. Uh, we saw a little bit of Balaj last year, definitely that big touchdown run he had against the Vikings. Uh, I said it in a previous video, I think that he's a mini version of JHI essentially. So watch him bulldozer people, although Drake has the speed and the elusiveness to get around. Um... But like I said, I think Drake's going to have to prove he's the starting running back. He did lose to Frank Gore last year for starting run back. But we are in a different um, coaching situation. We're in a better coaching situation than we had with Adam Gase. So everyone has clean slates um, from Josh Rosen to Kenyon Drake to the offensive lineman, wide receivers. All of them have clean slates. doesn't matter what happened. Uh, last year, two years ago, you know, if you if you want to be on this team, you're going to have to prove to be on this team, and it's going to start with the uh, OTAs, training camps, and the preseason. So, watch Drake steps up. He's also on a contract year, so he's probably you know his goal a thousand yards rushing, um, and probably ten touchdowns. 
um, between the rushing and receiving and probably watch him get about 500 receiving yards. He probably wants about 1,500 uh, scrimmage yards, you know, contract year. He wants to be, he's not going to be the highest paid running back, no, but he wants to get paid probably like 8 to $10 million a year. He's probably not going to make Ezekiel Elliott numbers, but we do want to re-sign him before the Ezekiel Elliott because then he's going to be wanting that also. And the other news is that Chad O'Shea and Jim Caldwell has expressed praises and positivity for Josh Rosen. They are both excited for um, for Josh Rosen, and I think that they are excited to work with him. A uh, very young guy, 23, 24 years old. You know, he has the one year experience coming from a really bad um, situation with the bad coaching. You know, it's just a bad team, no offense, no offensive line. You know, your best player, Larry Fitzgerald and David Johnson. David Johnson got hurt. Larry Fitzgerald's, you know, past his prime. So this is really big for Josh Rose. And Jim Caldwell is very experienced at the quarterback. He coached uh, Peyton Manning for a very long time. I think they said 10 years. I'm not 100%. I think I'm 90% on that. He did coach Peyton Manning one, uh, 10 years as an offensive coordinator, quarterback's coach, whatever it was. But um, and then he has had starting, um, um, experience. So he's been around with a couple quarterbacks, some good quarterbacks. So Josh Rosen is in good hands. Chad O'Shea, you know, and Tom Brady for a while. So Josh Rosen has the uh, the what's the word, the expectations and the um, he's in good hands. That's all I can say. Um. Hope for the uh, Josh Rosen. I think Josh Rosen's going to start by week three or week four, but um, he I don't think he's going to be week one starter. But Josh Rosen is definitely in good hands. So that's the the news, the update for the Dolphins right now with the Jordan Mills. You know, beefing up the offensive lineman. There's going to be competition on the offensive lineman. Like I said, four rookies on the offensive line, so they're all going to battle each other. You know. Somebody's going to get hurt down the line. I mean, Daniel Kilgore got hurt. I think Jesse Davis. No, Jesse Davis played every game, I believe. So, something we got to look forward to. But And then the, the running back situations, which we also draft another running back, although I think he's just, uh, you know, in case they got hurt or Kenyon Drake does move on next year, we have the, um, we have the backup plan for him. So, and then... Chad O'Shea and Jim Caldwell on their uh, opinions on Josh Rosen. So we're it's been a quiet off season right now. You know NFL should be picking up here soon. Um, we're we're heading up to the summer preseason. It's only just two to three months away. So you guys better start getting lock and loaded. Uh, I've been saying that the Dolphins are going to be a dark dark horse team. Um, it really depends on how you know organized and how the leadership is going to take on to this team. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below some questions and answers so I can, um, you know, answer them on uh, upcoming videos. And for Jake Dewey, who commented on my video, on the question, do you think the Dolphins are going to beat the Patriots at home this year? I think so. It's second week uh, in the NFL, I believe. Usually the Patriots suck in you know, the first month, so we have the possibility of beating the Patriots at home. The uh, The only problem is I don't know who's going to be quarterbacking. It could be Ryan Fitzpatrick. It can be Josh Rosen. Ryan Fitzpatrick does have um, experience in playing the Patriots and Tom Brady and these Jets and Bills quarterback and then you know has been around the league so if Ryan Fitzpatrick plays like he did last year in the beginning of the season lights it up 400 yards games you know three five touchdowns no interceptions we should beat them definitely at home with our wide receivers but it all depends on how healthy we are and who's going to be the quarterback but thank you guys for watching make sure you guys subscribe and hope you guys have a great week and weekend thank you very much